So first of all, we are going to need some data, X and Y and elevation that we are going to get from Google Earth Pro. In order to do this, just open Google Earth Pro and then zoom into any place on Earth. I have chosen this place in Central Europe. Now we are going to draw some points in order to extract the X, Y and elevation from this uh, set of points. So in order to do this, we are going to click on this add path, click on it and just ignore this window. And we are going to add those points. Just click and draw the first set of points. I'm going to draw another one. And I will go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of this area. So now I will go ahead and add some vertical points. So the more points you have, the more your counters will be accurate. So there we go. I guess this will do the job. So you can name it whatever you want. Just let path. And then you will click on OK. So there you go. You will get your path here. Now we are going to save this path. In order to do this, right click on it and then click on save place as and then navigate to where you want to save it name it and then click on save after this go to this website gps visualizer slash elevation or simply click on the link under the description below we'll go ahead and upload our kmz file click on your kmz file and then click on open so for the output we are going to select plain text and for the unit, we'll let it to metric. And all what we need to do is just click on convert and add elevation. As you can see, we got our latitude, longitude and our altitude. This is the file that we got from our conversion operation. So now we will click on it in order to download it. After the download, we'll get this text file. Double click on it to open it. And here we go. We got our latitude, longitude and our altitude. After opening ArcGIS Pro and creating your project, now we will go ahead and add our data inside of ArcGIS Pro. To do so, head over to Map and then go to Add Data. Click on this button and then click on XY Point Data. You will get this window. So from here, you can go ahead and import your data. So first of all, we are going to import the input table. To do so, click on this folder, then navigate to your work folder and then select your text file and then click on OK. Now here you can set where you want to output your file. Click again on this folder button. Now set your target folder, name it and then click on save. Now for the X field for me, it's the longitude and for the Y field, it's the latitude and for the Z field, it's the altitude and here you can specify the coordinate system of your data for me it's wgs1984 you can look for any coordinate system in this search bar then click on ok so now i just need to click on run so at the end of this operation we will get our points imported inside of arcgis pro now we are going to use these points in order to create our den so first of all let's open our attribute table we imported our data as latitude longitude and also altitude it's this altitude column that we are going to use in order to create our DEM. So I will close my attribute table and I will go ahead and start my process. We are going to click on analysis and we are going to click on tools. We are looking for spatial analysis tools. Click on it and then go to interpolation. I have many interpolation methods to choose from. So we are going to use the a simple interpolation method called natural neighbor click on it and you will get this result so here we are going to input our point features which is in our case the m um, file that we have just created for the z value field it's the for me this one attitude and for the output raster you can here choose where you want to save it you can name it it's put for example the em final and then click on save and there you are you have the output cell size so you can change it if you want you can play with it and see the results that you will get so for me i will leave it to default and i will click on run and we got our dem 
you can click on it and if you want you can change the symbology just click on it and go look for this symbology window and for example let's change the color to this one so that's the end of this tutorial if you find it useful please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials